After orienting the KSS Progress so that its far side docking port is in line with the normal of the rotation of the station in its orbit, it is time for the crew of the station to go home after a six, month, six months, shall I say, stay in orbit. First of all though, the craft has to be assembled for, uh, for the crew which shall replace them up there. This is just basically a very quick speed build of a, an Orion style capsule that I have created over the past couple of days. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of Kerbal Space Program actual gameplay because I feel I haven't done that in a while. So while this is playing in the background, I just want to outline uh, the basics of what this video is going to be about. Basically, I'm just going to give you guys, I just wanted to have a bit more of an informal sort of um, sort of, sort of talk for you, for you guys today. Uh, just give you some updates of what's going on on the channel, um, what I plan for the future and all that sort of stuff because I have some very, very important things that are coming up in my life within the next couple of... Um, next few weeks and next couple of months which you guys will need to know about because it will be affecting the channel. I'm sure a lot of you will be knowing what these are and you probably know what these are already because I've mentioned it in past KSP News episodes before. But you can see here I was having some trouble with the decouplers here. I don't know what was going on and um, it just wasn't detecting the collision for some odd reason. Um, I guess I, if I fixed it in the end, but I think it was just because um, I was putting the wrong part of the spaceship on. I'm not sure. Right part of the booster, not the actual spaceship. I don't know why I said that, but um, this is pretty much the actual ship complete here. Uh, just added some struts. And this is the Delta IV style launch stage ready to go with the Cabrian um, uh, resupply, crew resupply capsule upon it. Uh, this shall take three new crew members into orbit to replace the three already on the board the station. So here we are at the launch. It's a pretty decent launch vehicle. This is very reliable. Um, you can't really go wrong with a launch vehicle like this really. But yeah, on to the main subject of the video and that is what's going to be going on in the channel for the next few weeks. Now, in case you guys are already not quite aware, I am currently a teenager in my final year at secondary school here in the UK. Now, what that means is, is I'm going to be taking my GCSE examinations in about four weeks' time as of Monday, this coming Monday, which I believe is the 13th. The 13th of April. As of Monday the 13th of April, I have four weeks before my GCSE exams actually start. Before the, those four weeks, I should have um, content up on this channel as per normal. However, it may be slightly decreased, but KSP News should still be out on a Sunday or a Monday, depending on when I can actually get it done. Um, but as of May the 12th, um, my channel will be completely inactive and will be inactive for at least two weeks um, before maybe the half term because we have a half term break we have a week between those exams where I may make one video just to say that I'm not dead and then I will have another two weeks of inactivity before I'm finally back on around I'd say June the 13th to June the 14th. Um, that's quite a long period without making a video and I, I knew this day was coming when I wasn't actually going to be making any any videos at all. Hopefully 1.0 will be out by then so I can actually bring you guys the story. Um, or will come out within the next four weeks or so, which I'm guessing it probably will do. Um, it's just... I knew this time would come, but at the end of the day, um, Kerbal Space Program is a game that I play for entertainment, whereas these exams are actually quite important, and um, they, they they affect my entire future life. And seeing as I don't want to do YouTube as a full-time job, because um, though it would be pretty cool, I'm not going to lie about that, 
Personally, I don't think it is an, a, a reliable career path for me to take, and I think that um, a lot of personalities uh, would agree with me on that one. There is a lot of work you've got to put into it, and I just simply don't have the time for that at the moment, at least with my current um, education sort of thing. I'm going to need that time for revising and stuff like that, but I know you guys will understand this sort of thing because I do have an amazing kick-ass community, which is growing all the time, and I cannot thank you guys enough for doing this, and I hope you guys will stay subscribed. This is basically a video to say that I will not be dying within the next four to eight weeks or so. I will just be inactive due to GCSEs. I may update my channel title just to um, inform anyone who isn't aware. I will put out a video as well saying that we're inactive as well, just for a reminder of any of you who did not get the memo. But you can see here, back to the video, we are coming up on the target. That was probably one of the smoothest rendezvous I have ever completed within Kerbal Space Program. I seem to be getting better and better at these the more I practice of them, and I never thought I'd say this, but practice really does make perfect with Rendezvous. The more you do it and the more you try and challenge yourself, um, like it really started to click for me once I did that um, eccentric orbit, polar orbit uh, video in Juna for, with the Juna mission. In case you weren't aware, what happened was, was I got two crafts which were in a polar orbit around Juna, the lander and the command module. One was in a retrograde orbit, the lander was in a retrograde orbit relative to the command module, and basically I had to go up to a really high eccentricity, uh, switch my orbital velocity, which was thanks to one of you guys, I actually managed to um, figure that out, and we actually managed to get home safely, and rendezvous, and get home and it was all happy. If, in case you didn't see that video, I may link it in the description down below if I remember, because I'm always awful at uh, remembering these things. But we, you can see here that we are docked, and it is time to transfer the crew over to the crew cabin and the current crew of the KSS Progress to the um, Cabrian uh, transfer pod landing craft. I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, spacecraft. I think that's probably just the easiest. Ready for their touchdown. We're going to angle the spacecraft, the space station back so that it is um, back on its normal trajectory so that the solar panels are getting the maximum amount of sun that they can. It doesn't really matter in my opinion uh, really in the grand scheme of things. I just think it looks cooler when you're in my preferred camera view which is uh, this one here, the free mode. So it looks like you're riding over the top of Kerbin rather than around the side. Just I think it looks a bit more cinematic, uh, but you can see here we're undocking. The three crew members are um, are backing away with the RCS slowly. I did this deliberately slowly, and it's basically a ba a very basic descent now. And it's all pretty cool. Got some nice re-entry flames in there as well. But yeah, as for um, you guys, as I have been talking quite a lot about myself in this video, you guys are absolutely kick-ass, as I already said here. Um, not only, as I'm sure you'll probably understand my education, uh, I don't want to call it a predicament, but situation at the moment, um, you guys are just amazing. And like I say, my community is growing all the time. We've recently passed 450 subscribers. We are nearly at 500. And if we could reach 500, within the next four weeks, which I reckon we can do, I reckon that would be absolutely amazing because we're almost halfway to a thousand now and I can't believe it. I can't believe it. And it, like I say, it's all down to you guys liking the content that I produce and I would not still be doing this without you guys. But you can see here we get some nice re-entry effects here and we're coming down into the ocean and I can't read the names of the three Kerbals. I know Bob is one of them. I can't remember the other two names, but thanks so much for watching guys. Thanks for appreciating uh, the content that I make and I'll see you in the next one. This is Brad signing off. Peace out.